Hey there YouTube, we're back for another video. I am now just south of where I was. I was in Cincinnati earlier. Only US cellular there. I've now moved down, you see the Iowa-Missouri border. I'm now down in Missouri, just north of Unionville. And I am underneath a US cellular tower. And the configuration looks similar to the one that we saw in Cincinnati. Very similar. It's another guide tower. They do have a backhaul on this one. Uh, there is also fiber here. Similar shelter. There you can see the fiber marker. But... What I also have right next to me is a Verizon site. And you'll see that Verizon has no antennas aimed toward Iowa. Maybe someone who's more intricately familiar with this agreement than I am can explain it better than me, but as I understand it, U.S. Cellular was the CDMA carrier in Iowa. As a result, Verizon could not overbuild them with CDMA coverage. And so while this tower is in Missouri and right on the Iowa border, they actually have no sectors aimed into Iowa to honor that. Now since then, Verizon has built over Iowa and places like Maryland where there was a similar agreement with their LTE only, but Verizon to my knowledge has never had CDMA in Iowa and I think it was due to one of those weird agreements so we've got Verizon there and US Cellular here we'll test those um, they're really the only ones worth testing here Verizon LTE only I'm assuming band 13 only and then We've got, um, well, US Cellular, 5G, Band 2 again. It's not currently showing, Cell Mapper isn't currently showing the N71, but it's here. Uh, let's see. Oh, interesting. Three carrier aggregation this time. Five plus five plus ten. I saw N71 earlier. So, uh, Verizon, not bad. They must have some band 66. Uh, 65 down, 14 up, 65 milliseconds of latency. And U.S. Cellular. They, U.S. Cellular does not host their own speed test servers. And you know, I I'm not familiar enough with this area to know what peers what with you know well, what peers well with who. Um, I'm also probably getting somewhat of an umbrella effect just simply being this close underneath these sectors here. Uh, that does happen. So. 50 down, 32 up. Let's just try a different speed test server real quick. Let's try these guys. They're the closest. Oh, much worse latency, actually. So I'm assuming that if I moved out away from this tower, it would do better so there you have it 65 down 14 up on Verizon 39 by 26 on US cellular another US cellular 5g site and a Verizon site with no antennas aimed into Iowa if you can speak to why that is go ahead and comment that is actually band 66 they've got their twin set up there um, band 13 band 66 
Yeah, if, you, if you're familiar with that old agreement as to why Verizon didn't have CDMA back in the day, and even now don't have LTE panels aimed toward Iowa, go ahead and comment and let us know. All right, thanks again for watching. Like, share, comment, and happy speed testing. Okay, I'm back actually with an addition here. Uh, since I'm in Missouri, and I know that both T-Mobile and... AT&T have a tower in Unionville just south of where I'm at. I figured I'd do a speed test on each of them as well. Uh, and AT and or T or I can't talk today. T-Mobile showing band 66 uh, in something. Not sure what exactly. Actually, we'll do a speed test and AT&T despite having coverage here is roaming to US cellular and I tried and tried and I cannot force it to switch to AT&T it makes no sense to me because I can almost see the AT&T tower just over the hill and I've tested here in the past and speeds have been fine rebooted cycle airplane mode I actually tried to go in and force it to uh, switch and it won't switch it just goes back to US cellular so we'll see how AT&T tests while roaming to US Cellular. So, T-Mobile finish, 80 down, 10 up. Interesting that they beat both uh, Verizon and US Cellular here despite being non-line of sight and about six miles away from the tower. Not terrible latency, loaded not so great. And, well look at that. AT&T has better latency, better speeds while roaming to US Cellular than US Cellular did itself. Now it could be a difference between the Pixel 7 Pro which my US Cellular SIM is in and the OnePlus 11 which my AT&T SIM is in currently but clearly showing US Cellular Band 2 N71 US Cellular. So there you have it. AT&T roaming to US Cellular. Clearly uncapped. And native T-Mobile coverage a couple of miles away from the tower here on the Iowa-Missouri border just north of Unionville. Alright, that's all for today. I will hopefully do another couple videos on this road trip. So don't forget to subscribe so you see those when they come through.